And if somebody had taken that away from me, there are so many other things I could have done with my life <laughs> that didn't involve giving up precious hours of my day to go and try to get a bill paid. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. So to some extent, not being financially prepared, not having a capital base, it dehumanizes you. It dehumanizes you and makes you the victim. It makes you the um, the tool. It makes you the commodity for people that actually control capital, which takes us right back to slavery. That's what you were. That's how you arrived in America is you you were not owners of a capital base. You were the capital base. So part of financial consciousness involves us getting rid of the slave training and learning how to be actual owners and controllers of capital. I'm not saying become slaveholders. I don't want to control anybody else. But I will tell you that a, a, a 25, 30 year old that has enough money in the bank to do what they want operates and navigates the world very differently from somebody who is struggling for their next opportunity and can barely pay the rent. Same thing is true with young ladies. You got a daughter. Why would you want your daughter out here struggling to get a bill paid? You know, trying to figure out if she should start an OnlyFans account because all the guys think she's cute or <clears throat> figuring out if she should sleep with the broke man or the rich man because she needs the rich man's money. Nobody wants their child in this situation.